Paul Nathanson with the Policy Resolution Group at Bracewell and part of the One Voice team in Washington, D.C. Thank you for tuning in to Two Minutes with One Voice. Since my turn to do this video comes up only once per month, I figured that I can again spend two minutes talking about one of my favorite topics, terminating the Section 232 steel and aluminum tariffs. Last week, PMA and NTMA led the effort to organize a letter to President Biden signed by more than 300 U.S. manufacturers requesting the immediate termination of the Section 232 steel and aluminum tariffs. Many NTMA and PMA members signed the letter, and together the companies represented a broad swath of the U.S. manufacturing sector currently struggling to meet demand and stay competitive due to supply shortages, long lead times, and artificially high prices for their key inputs. The letter was organized by the Coalition of American Metal Manufacturers and Users, of which NTMA and PMA are founding members, the National Foreign Trade Council, and other groups. The letter provided an overview of the dire supply situation confronting manufacturers and explained the challenges created by the tariffs, stating, quote, it is, the business, it is businesses manufacturing in America, such as ours, who pay the tariff on imports, and it is our businesses and employees who suffer when our products cannot compete with overseas manufacturers because the U.S. is an island of high steel and aluminum prices, unquote. Since I have only two minutes, you'll need to read the rest of the letter on the tariffsartaxes.org website. Your One Voice team in Washington delivered the letter not only to the White House, but to the Commerce Department, USTR, and other federal agencies, as well as to members of Congress. The letter has received great media coverage, including interviews with PMA and NTMA members, as we continue the spotlight on the damage caused by these tariffs. These efforts have clearly put the defenders of the tariffs, which is now limited to the domestic steel industry, on the defense. Just today, the CEO of Cleveland Cliffs was claiming that today's record high steel prices are being caused by a wide variety of factors, pretty much everything but the tariffs. At the same time, he insisted that the tariffs must stay in place. If you have record high steel prices and tariffs have no impact, then the CEO just admitted that there is absolutely no reason to maintain the tariffs. The whole purpose of a tariff is to allow a domestic industry to raise its prices by increasing the cost of imports. Our site clearly has the momentum and we will press forward. As I mentioned in my last update, we're coming up on an important deadline as the EU and UK are set to raise the retaliatory tariffs on US whiskey ex exports to a whopping 50% starting on June 1st shutting the EU and UK markets out for US whiskey makers. Negotiations continue and rest assured that we will continue our efforts from our side to press for the termination of the tariffs. So please remember to support your NTMA and PMA as they make this content possible and are your voice in Washington.